Welcome to the showcase of the import of the value mappings from the SAP Process Orchestration into the SAP Integration Suite. This episode of the video tutorial covers how to export value mapping from the SAP Process Orchestration System, import value mapping as an integration artifact, and how to validate it in the integration flow message mapping. You can see the message mapping object from the SAP Process Orchestration Enterprise Service Repository in the SAP NetWeaver Developer Studio, which we use to test value mapping in the integration suite. Let's list all the available value mappings in the SAP Process Orchestration system. In the selected value mapping, you can see the source or target agency and the identification schema along with the values. Let's export this value mapping as a CSV file into the local file system. If I open the CSV file, I can see that agency, schema, and mapping values are well defined. Let's create a new value mapping as an integration artifact. Now we have to import the value mapping CSV file, which we had exported from the SAP Process Orchestration System. Importing is successful, and also, we can see usage examples of how to consume this value mapping. Now we deploy the value mapping, so that we can reference it in the message mapping functions. Its deployment is successful as we see status started. Now, we consume this deployed value mapping as a message mapping function. Let's open and sample message mapping. We first try to simulate message mapping without value mapping function. We input a sample payload and trigger the simulation. Since there is no value mapping lookup used for department field, its value remains unchanged. Now we edit the department field mapping expression and introduce value mapping function. We take the input from the value map usage examples and provide the same here for source, target agency, and identifiers. Now we rerun the message mapping simulation with same payload and monitor department field values. We can see that message mapping simulation successfully completed.
Also department field value changed, as per the lookup target value defined in the value mapping. We can also verify the source target lookup result, in the display queue of the value mapping. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it.